Today we're doing a dozer recovery. Been sitting there for a couple of years, so it's kind of stubborn. See this? This is new. One of the most badass trucks the military's ever built. That yeah, they special. Didn't have shoes on. Oh, yes. <laughs> like really it was like I just uh, realized as soon as I hopped on the highway heading here that uh, I forgot like, my oh, hat. Geez, my hat. What am I gonna do if someone sees what my head looks like? No, because it's hot outside, man. It's like you know, no, I'm gonna I protect didn't... myself from the sun. It was freezing cold, and you still wore the hat. actually <laughs> for everybody four miles a gallon so the we need you guys to be able to fund these recoveries <laughs> without you we wouldn't be able to pay for fuel to do these recoveries so thank you guys subscribe like comment Tell me about how much you just paid in fuel. on the deck. As soon as you pull it, it's going to slide. Right. I'm saying you got to get the truck, though, on that flat ground to get it out of this little hole it's in. It's a heck of a view, though. That's, that's majestic. Yeah. Look at you. Just Captain Morgan up there. Blade in the ground or it's, it's up. up. Well, that's sort of bad that the uh, cap has been off. Listen, that... I'm not trying to start this one, okay, Alan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Why not? I was like, we, we can get this running. Five gallon can of uh, diesel and run a line to it. We'll push start it off the end. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, the way that it's sitting, maybe he started to slide. He was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> But this thing would easily, well, unless this thing apparently has no track brakes, which maybe that was the case, because then it would be like shooting down this road, <laughs> this hill in a billion miles an hour. I bet he goes right here. <laughs> I bet he goes right there. Got the wizard wrench. We found it. That's good luck. Here, let me see that. I thought it was your salad fork. Yeah. Oh, it was almost perfect size. Almost. Yeah, I think, uh... Yeah, good. So you can see where he's dug out? Yep. And, uh, he was probably in a hurry rather than... I can't him. wait for you to be in heaven and ask him. Alan, you know, when you get to heaven, ask him. Say, hey, old timer, what happened to the dozer situation? Because this is my theory, and then I want you to give him your theory, and then I want to tell you, <laughs> no, dumbass, I just parked it there, and I just didn't start it again. Whoa, my wife was mad, so yeah. I left it. Cow. There's a the book of Allen. It's right after okay. Corinthians. Yeah, but you're making a bunch of assumptions. Like, I can't talk to him now is one of your assumptions. You're making the biggest and two, assumption you're also assuming he's, he's in heaven. heaven. heaven right? <laughs> that's, that's the assumption I want. <laughs> what kind of dozer is it? This? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's oh, a cable dozer. It's letting me down. It's a yellow one. Right? Just a yellow dozer? It is a caterpillar. Is it a cat? See this? <laughs> yeah, this is new. This is like new, new, meaning this is the debut new. First time you guys have seen this truck on the channel and actually the first time we really had it out in action and today you guys get to see just what it's capable of. <laughs> remember handbone the Hemet that we bought right the 8x8 Hemet super great truck we've used it on a bunch of different recoveries works really well well this is like his older brother or his cousin who was like varsity football player lifts a lot of weights you know ate really good this truck right here is like the one of the most badass trucks the military's ever built. It's a M1075A1 PLS. PLS stands for Palletized Loading System. And as you can see back here, this big old hook lift is what they use to basically load the palletized systems. So that whole thing folds back and you can pull on any number of different roll-off style beds. You can put a dumpster on there. You can put a flatbed on there. You can put like these big tool bodies on there. You put basically. You can put a dozer on the flatbed that's on there. There we go. Yeah, right now, it's basically a naked body. But the reason why we brought it is because today we're doing a, like Dave said, dozer recovery. And this dozer recovery is one that is, it's complicated, but it's also not terribly complicated. It just needs kind of some brute strength. It's way up yonder in the hills up there, and apparently it's been abandoned for years, and they want it off the land. They want the land cleaned up. And so we figured, what a perfect opportunity to test out 
the 10 by 10. And the problem is you're gonna hear us call this thing like nine different names throughout the day because we haven't established, because it's not technically a Hemet, but PLS sounds stupid. M1075A1 is not, doesn't really roll off the tongue. So probably gonna to refer to it as the Hemet. Well, the other one got ham bone. You're not gonna give it a cool nickname? I've been thinking about it, but I, it's, it's hard. I gotta put Kroger. it to use first. We're Kroger. not gonna call it Kroger. It's definitely not a Kroger. <laughs> Maybe it's bad boy. Bad, the new bad boy. I like that. So anyways, this truck is like ridiculously awesome. The reason why is because it has a 600 horsepower C15 cat. It's one of the most modern and newest pieces of military equipment that we own. It's like a 2011, 2012. This is like what they're currently still using. It's true 10 by 10 and it has lockers. Now, Ooh. if you know anything about us, you know lockers are a big deal because most of the military trucks that we have don't have lockers. They have open diffs, which means they can get stuck very easily. This truck, truly all 10 tires will lock up and it will become just an absolute crawling machine uh it's got central tire deflation it's got ac it does like 65 70 miles an hour down the road I'm telling you this is one of the coolest trucks i've ever seen and it's one of only two that i know of in civilian hands nice. we have one and joe at midwest military equipment who we bought this from has the other one so it's a very uncommon truck to see guys like us using normally you'd see these things in active duty, like being used with the military. We brought this to be able to basically just kind of crawl all up that hill. We're gonna use the hook system somehow, maybe, to be able to kind of lift and maneuver the dozer, uh, even though it's not technically made for that. It's really kind of made for whatever you can reach back and hook. Um, and then we're just gonna drag it down the hill and hopefully it does what it needs to do. And then we're gonna throw the dozer on the trailer and get out of here. So we also have a new vehicle that we're testing out today, which is the Polaris Ranger EV which is the electric Ranger, which we've had for a few weeks now, testing out, doing some stuff with, and so far, very impressed. But today, we're gonna put it like on a real job, something that we're actually doing, some doing some real work with it, and see how it holds up, see what the battery does. So far, I've been incredibly impressed with the battery, with the torque, with just the overall drivability and the comfort, the quietness of it after being around big machines all day is actually really nice. Mm -hmm. The guys who told us about this, whose property this is, tell us it's a very steep hill, which is why it's never been recovered. I guess it was up there cutting roads years ago, broke down and they just left it there, so. Did you say Here. you're not impressed with my outfit? No, I said I'm very impressed with your outfit. Your outfit looks great. You're, you're, just, not, you're just not excited about putting one on yourself. Yeah, so fun fact, we're filming with Polaris today, obviously with the Ranger, and safety protocol for Polaris is different than, well, it's very strict. So in a minute here, you're gonna see us have to put some long sleeve shirts on, as my friend here is. Yeah. First time I've seen him Covered wear pants, calves. probably since my wedding. Yep. And uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting, because it's a little bit warm, so. I feel like I could crawl through some shrubbery right now, though. Uh, so yeah. fully protected. Absolutely. You also look like you're losing like a pound every 30 minutes of mm. sweat. I also have my shorts on underneath just in case I need to tear these off. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to load up and get out of here. You like to do it? You going to make it up, bud? Well, hell yeah, I'm going to. Good Coke? Cherry Coke. Plug somebody's uh, product. <laughs> okay, 
Try to get my energy level up. So that old dozer up there, interesting. The story is that he was cutting and then it kind of sloughed out from underneath him. And so the dozer just kind of slid and they say he either just was like, oh, I'm good. Or I don't think a guy would walk away from that because it's not that bad, but it might be broken. We're not sure. The only thing we, the biggest question we have is whether the tracks are locked up or not. If the tracks are locked up, then we're not worried about it running away from us. If the tracks aren't locked up and we start pulling on it, that thing might just want to run down the hill. So if we're hooked to it and it starts running down the hill, that's not good. If we can get away from it and let it go straight down the hill, that could be kind of cool. The world land speed record for a bulldozer. But uh, we're gonna have to just get up there and find out. So it's a lot steeper than it looks. Don't, uh, don't let the terrain fool you. That truck's a mountain goat. Yeah, it's good, impressive. Yeah. Zero slippage at all. The plan now is just give it a little, a little yank with the yank them and see uh, whether or not those tracks are locked up. Part of it for me is the slant of the hill and the way that the hemet is sitting. I know. Can't really get a good bump without sliding yourself. But, so the way he's doing it right now is pretty smart. He's angling down the hill so that he's good, but it'll still pull the it'll pull the dozer a little bit more harshly, but that's okay. Sliding down with it. I think you're trying to get... I think he's trying to use the hill to his advantage.
He's got watch that. He's he, yes, no, watch that. He's, he's, he's gonna he's gonna take a big run at it. It'll take a lot to get it to break free. It's embedded. Come on back, come on back, come on back, come on back. We see. We tried pulling from the front, but kept sucking him down the hill. So now he's gonna try backing up to it. We'll hook the recovery rail back on, hopefully he can get a straight path right down the hill, give it a good solid yank, and uh, hopefully pull this bulldozer right out of its hole. It's been sitting there for a couple years, so it's kind of stubborn. It doesn't want to come out of its hole. But if anyone can persuade it, it's Heavy D and the PLS. God, it needs a better nickname. are not turning. The tracks aren't mo aren't turning at all. They're not spinning. Right? They're not spinning. This is the worst part right here because the tracks are are bound up supposedly, and I'm tugging on it and it's breaking it free. But if it breaks it free to the point where the tracks decide to come free, then I'm I'm married to it all the way down this hill. So uh, you might see me just hauling ass down the hill here and then the way for Dozer. Or you might just see me pulling dead weight. Either way, we're at such a weird angle. Every time I pull, it wants to pull me down the hill. So basically, I don't have much of a choice other than just go down the steep part, which I'm okay with, as long as the Dozer doesn't try to catch up with me. So that's what happens.
I followed you all the way down. There's a couple times where I lost it in my rear view. I couldn't see it. I couldn't tell if it was like trying to pass me or what, but it was just kind of dragging to the side. It was perfect. Yeah. Had those tracks broke loose, it would have been, oh, it would have been, it was at you. yeah. Even with the tracks not. Right. Right. That tree's growing through the tracks. bug went in Alan's eye and he's getting it out with what? Piece of grass. I got eye drops. I can't really find it. Finished the road that the old man was trying to do. 